um, MLG, you got it after. I feel like you have two types of men in the black community, because I'm speaking on black men specifically, the majority, you know, that um, I see on the news or going through whatever. We have two different types that if you were raised by a single mother who had two and three jobs and had to struggle and that's your mother, you are either going to become two, one or two men. You're going to be the man that says, I will never have my woman have to do that because I saw my mother struggle and I saw her have to go through that. And I'm never going to put my woman through that. Or you have the man that says, look at this feminine woman. She, she likes the finer things in life, but my mother didn't have it. So why can't you go out here and, and struggle? Why can't you go out here and get a second and third job? So a lot, of times, a lot of times our men have animosity towards us because of the things they saw their mother go through. They saw their mother, mother raise the whole community and have 10 kids in the house. So now when they see my soft life, you know, they're like, and they don't think they're supposed to contribute to it because I, their mother got it on their own. Their mother was independent. Their mother didn't have a man in the house that helped them. So why would I? But I don't have this type of man in my life. I'm just saying it happens That's in our community. Our life. Sweeney, damn, you are so, you you act like you need to. She don't have these type of men in her life. I don't. You just said that you I just know these men I, and they look at right, you. Let her finish. Let her finish. Sweeney, I'm going to say this. I, I mean, don't. Go ahead. Uh, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Start capping again. No. Marcus is going to be uh, after Ali. Mr. Okay. Let go get your piece in there. I'm going to end it like this. Sweeney, you must have some type of animosity towards me, but it's it's really. I might. I might. I, I'm going to explain later. I'll let you know. All right. right. So no, you could do it on your own time. Wait, Mr. Let go. No, I'm going to do it right here on the panel no, after let, Mr. Let go. No, no, you don't have to let tell me finish. nothing. Keep I am. Me out. I, am. I, don't yeah, like this. I, I am. don't allow. I'm going to mute up. I, yeah. Yes, please. But I'm going to let you know later on. I'm not going to be here to listen. But that's okay. Um, <laughs> but like I said, you know, if you've been raised by a single mother and you saw her struggle, you can make a two two options. Either you're going to let your woman do the same thing and struggle and get it by herself. Or you're going to say, hey, I don't want her to have to do that. You're going to help out her life. So I think um, there is some animosity when it comes to that, because in other cultures, which I am a mixed person, I, I in other cultures, I don't see that. I don't see, I see the woman having being praised for being feminine and, you know, being protected for being uh -huh. feminine and, you know, given the nanny, given the uh, push gift and given the, um, you know, everything like, oh, baby, you need this, you need that. But in our community, we call that simping. So. So let me answer you all y'all's uh, question, because I've seen it a, a million times and this ain't blaming y'all and this ain't blaming men. Uh, you attract who you actually are or you attract your own type of trauma, okay? So, because I'm not saying you ladies are abusive, but you attract... So, you got to look at it like this. The guy is usually the uh, avoiding attachment style and the woman is usually the anxious attachment style. And every time he does this, you do this. And every time he does this, you do this and this back and forth is kind of like what what makes both of y'all feel attracted to each other so sometimes the abusive dude makes you feel like i already knew i wasn't shit or i knew i wasn't worthy of love i knew i was like this because look at how he's showing me what i already thought of myself so it's a form of confirmation bias just like Marcus said earlier, a lot of women don't love themselves. So if you don't think you're worthy of love, if you don't love yourself, you are only going to attract a man that don't like women because he's confirming what you already are thinking. Like if somebody told me that, I don't know, we, uh, is somebody's on my street shooting. The second I hear a noise, I'm going to just assume that's, that's somebody shooting. So when, when you think something, you actually manifest it. So when you don't love yourself, you're going to find or attract or entertain a man that doesn't like women because you don't like women yourself. All right. Uh, so can I, can I 
talk about that point. I'd kind of yeah, disagree like, with you on that. Yeah, quick one that we're going to get to Marcus okay. after. Sure. Um, when you're an attractive person, you attract all Entertain, entertain, people. entertain. Who you entertain. Yeah, who you entertain. So yeah. I just wanted to clarify that. Who you bring you will attract life, all kinds of people, and that doesn't necessarily reflect on you, but who you entertain does. Right. But that's it. Go mm -hmm. ahead. All right, Marcus. Okay, so <clears throat> do men prioritize, prioritize impressing other men to the detriment of their re romantic relationships. Um, so I, I had a call with, with one of my uh, friends that's uh, a coach at a, at a major D1 uh, school earlier. And uh, I'm, I'm also friends with the, 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 the head coach from another institution that we playing soon. And we all kind of have a similar ideology. And I was discussing what goes on on the podcast. And he just couldn't believe what I was saying, right? You're like, no, nah, it's no way that 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 we that people are out here thinking this way. I'm like, no, nah, it's it's a sect that believes this. So I'm not gonna say this is all men that do this. But if we were specifically to speak into the sector right now, absolutely, 100 percent, like past 100 percent, one million billion gajillion percent. Like you have men that'll be attracted to a woman and won't say nothing to her because they're afraid that other men gonna call her call him or something. You you got men who will agree with a woman's argument, start agreeing. And then when the men say you 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 simping you you pandering and they be like no 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 man who give a fuck with these niggas think <laughs> like bad Joe if you a man stand on your own they can think what they gonna think you can think what you gonna exactly. think if you can form in your idea specifically because you want to appeal to the woman that's one thing if you genuinely believe it that's a complete other thing and and in, in, in this space specifically it gets contorted. So anything that's not 100% pro extreme to the left or pro extreme to the right, right? And uh, the women and the men do this in this specific sector where as long as uh, it, it's pro woman, I got to be on this side. As long as it's pro man, I got to be on this side. When the truth is, I'm sure that most people have a nuanced perspective and they see the right and wrong and, and a majority of the arguments, unless you severely have some type of bias that affects your general perspective and outlook on the world outside of that most of this stuff it, it's not that far of a, a a decimal move to the other side a lot of this is posturing i don't know why why we would be posturing with women it blows my fucking mind but hey it, it, it happens what what when when i was talking to my homie he has a similar relationship to me beautiful wife uh two beautiful kids uh shout, shout out the fam if y'all listening right now and the other one i think he had what was so good? Uh, he got three kids, beautiful wife, and these are all leaders, leaders of men, leaders of teams, leaders of industry, right? And when they talk about their wife, they they exalt their wife, they exalt their family, they take responsibility to a whole nother level. They do the things that that exemplify the best of us, not the worst of us. And when I explained it to them, they just couldn't believe me. They was like, no, nah, that's not really happening. I sent them the link so, so that they could see. But we didn't do it tonight. But it, it, it occurs, though. It occurs in, in, in mass. And that's an issue. Any any man that calls himself a man in the traditional sense that, that I'm speaking from will not feel OK with that. It, 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 just, it feels I don't know. It just feels out of place to me. But that's my specific understanding. So that's not to say that anyone isn't a man. That's just to say for my specific understanding, it feels out of place. So do men prioritize impressing other men? Yes. 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 Absolutely in this space. Absolutely. Right. 